Where are they going? Like, <laughs> I want to look for their friend. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see you again today. So first of all, I want to say I am still sick, so I'm probably going to sound quite off. I'm really sorry about that. So today I'm on Ranch of Rivershine and I want to get some breeding going. I'm going to announce the name of the Blue Roan Appaloosa and we're going to pair some horses and see some foals. And I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite things to do in horse games. Before we get started today, though, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I would absolutely love to have you. All right. Let's go pair some horses and I did not mean to bring up the map <laughs> it is winter time in game it's so pretty I love the snow I mean it's kind of like snow not really but you know, I'll take it it's okay my barn is fully upgraded thank goodness so now I have all this nice space so first thing I want to do is announce this guy's new name the name that they suggested, which I think is perfect for this horse, is Bubbles. <laughs> he definitely looks like he just has a bunch of bubbles all over him. It's so cute. So that's going to be his name. And I guess while I'm here, I'll go ahead and feed him. Oh, I should have fed him more than that. Oops. Okay, that's all right. So Mr. Bubbles here, I'm pretty sure I've already decided I'm going to pair him with Delilah. Because think about the color combinations of those two horses. If you don't remember what she looks like, I'll show you in just a second. Where, oh, do I have her? I might have her um, in the pasture. That way I don't have to feed her. <laughs> where are you, Miss Delilah? There she is. Wow, she's uh, <laughs> standing on the uh, fence here. All right. So this is Delilah. This is who we are going to breed with Bubbles. And I think it's going to be a cool combination because who knows how this foal is going to look. There's so many colors and patterns happening that the flaxen mane and tail. Oh, I mean, they're both roan. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. The second pairing we're going to do is obviously magic. We're going to pair magic with venture because that's just a thing that I do in every horse game now. <laughs> Thanks to my ranch on Minecraft, I've got to pair those two horses. And I don't think there's Palominos in this game, but just imagine if Venture and Magic had a Palomino. <laughs> really wish I could sprint. Come here, Venture. Give her a nice brush. So I only have the one breeding pasture. So hopefully the breedings are fairly quick in terms of the success. Um... Let me think about how I want to do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. The final pairing. So the third pairing I want to do is Spartan and Noel. So we've got this basically pure black horse with this white horse. So that's going to be interesting too. How is the foal going to turn out? I have to make sure they're all fed and happy before I start trying to breed them. All right, everyone is taken care of. So I think the first pairing I'm gonna do is Noelle and Spartan. I'm gonna let her out to pasture. We'll do it this way. I thought there was an option to just let them out from their stall, but apparently not. Oh, I'm so tired of being sick, you guys. It's been lasting forever, I feel like. I went a few days where I had no voice at all. I literally couldn't talk, it was horrible. <laughs> He is now in the field, so across the uh, the way we go. Wait, and I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> Noel. Okay, so here is our first pairing. Noel, pure white, blue eyes. Spartan, basically pure black, and dark eyes. They have 75% chance. That's really good. So here we go. We're gonna check back tomorrow and see if she is successfully pregnant. Oh, I'm really excited to see that foal. I'm excited for all the foals, but Delilah and Bubbles. And thank you, by the way, for that name. I don't know if I said thank you or not. So perfect for him. I love it. It's like he's all sudsed up after a bath. All right, they are taken care of. So I'm just going to sleep the day away. I'm not going to worry about training or utilizing my time because I have one goal here. <gasps> Although we could go to the auction house. No, no, no. No, I better not. 
I spend all my money making my way to the pasture slowly. Were we successful? No. Oh my gosh. She had such a high chance. Ugh. Okay, well, I've got to take care of Bubbles. Because if I don't, he's going to start losing health and get depressed. And I don't know about the horses getting this dirty standing in a stall overnight. I mean, I know horses get dirty, but it's not like he has any dirt to roll in, you know? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go to bed again. 6.45 in the morning. I was awake for a whole 20 minutes. Or 45 minutes, whatever. What time we wake up, I'm not sure. Ooh, a carrot. Don't mind if I do. Magic. All right. Oh my gosh. Did you see Noel? Just like shaking her head back and forth. Like, I don't know. All right. Did we do it? Oh, wow. What is going on? Goodness. 75% chance. Like the worst luck. I just realized that Bubbles doesn't have any more potential left. So I don't know why I didn't have him in the pasture to begin with, but he's out there now. So I don't even have to worry about feeding them every day. Just gonna sleep the days away until we get some foals. Or pregnancies, I should say, not foals. Hopefully it's not this difficult with the others. I think I see a belly. She seems to have the waddle. Yes, she's definitely pregnant, good. Okay, so we've got one successful pregnancy in Noelle. So the next horse I want to get pregnant, I think. Oh, I don't even have to go get them. Stand right here. We'll go ahead and pair Delilah with Bubbles. 74% chance. Okay, first let's take a look at these different options here. So this, she is a chestnut roan and he is a blue roan. He's obviously the Appaloosa. She's Novero. And then she also has the flax and mane and tail. It could transfer over to him. So there's all kinds of things happening with the pattern and the colors. It's going to be a cool foal. So let's go ahead and pair that. And where are you, Miss Noel? Oh my gosh, your cute pregnant belly. I adore that this game has that function. It's so cute. I just got, oh, there we go. <laughs> I thought I was stuck. I'm over here. Oh, oh my gosh. I was just in my own head. All right, off to bed we go again. <laughs> Cross your fingers that we get lucky and she's pregnant right away so that we can breed magic adventure. Oh, wild horses at Crystal Lake. Okay, so I did buy the other ones. I have not seen those horses yet. Today might be a day we take a quick detour and go check out those horses. It looks like Delilah is right up close to the fence. I can't tell if there's a belly. I think so. Yes, she is pregnant. Awesome. All right, now for magic adventure. Here we go. So to go over their coloration, he is a dun, buttermilk dun to be more precise. And then she is a blue roan. So, I mean, we've paired these horses many times, not in Ranch of Rivershine, of course, but in Minecraft and other games. So let's see what happens. And where is, oh, there's Delilah, aw. You're so cute with your belly. I'm gonna go to Crystal Lake and see these horses. I have not seen the wild herd there yet. I wasn't planning on doing anything at all in this game today except for breeding and seeing the foals, but I'm tempted. I don't know what coat colors are offered here. So if there's something that it's just too beautiful to pass up. I will be bringing it home. Oh, I'm right here. Oh, they're just like right ahead of me. Okay. Oh, they're right here. What do we have? Oh, is that a liver chestnut? Is that a blue roan? I think that's a blue roan right there. After I had so much trouble finding Venture. <laughs> that's funny. I think that is a liver chestnut. And then what are these other horses? They are weird. Like spotted paint horses almost i'm gonna have to catch a lot of these and check them out oh that's a long way to go oh goodness but i've got to see what these coat colors are this one especially 
I know that that one is a liver chestnut, but I don't know what this is. It's like a combination of an Appaloosa and a paint. I bet you this is what Delilah and Bubbles Full's gonna turn out to look like. What are you? It's weird. It kind of looks like it's dirty. <laughs> it was rolling around in mud. Hot Eagle. Oh, intermediate. Nice. Light Chestnut Roan Sabino. Okay. I did not know that. Oh, gosh. I did not know that Sabino was even in the game. So learn something new. That could be a really cool pattern to work with for breeding. I had no idea. I'm not a big fan of the coat color, like I said, because to me, the horse looks like it was rolling around in mud and it just looks dirty. But it's a cool idea, I guess. Maybe a different color of Sabino. Where are they going? They're like... <laughs> going to look for their friend. Why does this pen have to be all the way across the map? I'm going to take this last one there and then check them out. I think out of the three Sabinos, I probably like this one the best because of the darker mane and tail. I don't know. I kind of like that too. I like the black tips on this one's ears. Natural maple. A stallion. Dark Bay Roan Sabino. Okay. Vibrant Lake. Another stallion. Light Chestnut Roan Sabino. And then, of course, we already know what this one is. There's a stallion. Flax and Liver Chestnut. It sucks because I want to take him home. I like that he has no white other than the snip on his nose. But because I don't think Sabinos are available in the auction, it seems smarter to take one of these guys home. So I guess the question is, do we want a light chestnut roan or dark bay roan and stallion or mare? I'm going to go ahead and take the stallion home because I like his dark ears and his darker mane and tail. Okay, cool. No clue that they had that coloration in the game. So that's exciting. A nice surprise. I just realized something. I adopted that horse and now I'm going to have to feed it every day or he'll lose his potential. <laughs> oh gosh. He's cute though. I like his dark little ear tips. That's adorable. He's cool. Off to bed we go and hope that we have another pregnant mare in the morning. Time to find out if Venture is pregnant. I don't see her. Oh, she's way back there. No, I can't tell from here. So let's see. She is pregnant. Awesome. So it's just the first pairing. We had horrible luck. So we've got three pregnant mares right now. How exciting. They're so cute. Venture, you're going to have a baby. Aw. I'm going to go to bed past the time. And can't wait to see our foals. So I've just been passing the days by waking up, taking care of this new horse that I just had to grab at the beginning of doing this. Not a great idea. But anyway, I've been waking up, taking care of him, feeding him, mucking out his stall, and then going straight back to sleep. Now, I think that tomorrow is the day the Noel should have her full since she was the first one we bred. So we'll see. And once she has her foal, I'm going to bring her in because, I mean, yes, it's going to cost me hay that I have to feed, but just the role player inside of me is like, <laughs> you cannot have that pregnant mare out in the snow. <laughs> it's just wrong. Do we have a foal? I think we do. It looks like a little white foal. Okay, go grab her. <gasps> She's an exact, wait, does she have darker legs? I don't know. I'm going to inspect her in a second. We're going to take her and the foal into the barn so that we can check it out. It looks like it's an exact duplicate of mom, though. Let's see. Uh, horse information. Yes, just a white colt. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on here. I mean, I guess we had a 50-50 chance. So he's super cute, though. He is super cute. So kind of off to a dull start. No offense against this little guy. He is really adorable. But not a whole lot of color happening. What what was the default name? Oh, Little Cloud. That's actually a really good name for him. Super cute. Why is there 
I guess I didn't muck out her stall. <laughs> Whoops. So there's one of our babies, which means tomorrow we should be getting another colt or foal, I guess, from Delilah. Hopefully we've got some really neat colors with that foal. So off to bed I go again. And then in the morning we will have a foal from Delilah. It's the next day. Very curious to see this foal. Where are you, Delilah? Oh, she's way in the back. And there is a foal with her. Is it black? Come here, horses. Oh, what is, is that a, okay, hold on. Let's, let's take her inside. Did she have a blue roan or a black roan? Where are you? Oh, what? What? There's like little white specks. Hold on. Black roan Appaloosa. That's really interesting. Wow. So it is a black roan with just these little white specks. A little filly. She's cool. But it looks like it has like the measles or chicken pox. <laughs> I like this foal a lot. And I knew that that pairing would have a pretty cool looking foal because of their colors. But this is neat. Now I've got horses to take care of. <laughs> I hope I can get through the winter. I don't think I'll be able to make it. I've got plenty of orchard grass to get through the winter, but definitely not enough alfalfa. I'm kind of wishing that this Sabino was a mare now so that I could breed the horse with Bubbles because Bubbles seems like he's going to throw out some really cool foals. So tomorrow is the day that Venture is going to have her foal. Do you guys have any guesses as to what the foal is going to look like? I'm kind of thinking a blue dun. Yeah, a blue dun. That's my guess. <sighs> Here we go. Billy or Colt. What color? I'm going to go with a blue dun Colt. Where are you? Oh, oh, okay. I see a bluish coat. It's cute. It's not a done though. It's a roan. So I was wrong there. Hold still. A gray roan. Okay. So we have a gray roan colt. I was right about the gender at least. But he's got the blue eyes. And he's got really pretty coloration. Just a little white blaze down the front of his face. So that's cute. And him prancing around is really adorable too. Oh my gosh. So all the babies turned out really, really cute. And Venture, you are filthy. Oh my gosh. Um, not the best place to brush her. <laughs> now we can see all of our babies in a row. So I definitely think out of all of these guys, the coolest baby is Mr. Measles over here. <laughs> or Mrs., I'm sorry. But I think I'm going to call her Measles. <laughs> She's cute, though. She really is cute. And now she has a family tree. So she's got Delilah and Bubbles. And then it'll be fun to breed her and continue that family tree. Oh, I just thought of something. This is a filly, right? All right. I know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to wait until measles grows up. And I'm going to breed measles with natural maple uh, yet to be actually named. That could be a really neat foal. Blue or black roan Appaloosa with a dark bay Sabino. That would be cool. I wanted to show you guys our babies all grown up. So here is Sunny Beetle. <laughs> this is a really weird name, but okay. This is Venture and Magic's son. He's a nice gray roan colt. I like his blue eyes. On the family tree, you can see here is Venture and Magic as his mom and dad. And then over here, little Cloud, this is Noelle and Spartan's daughter. Or <laughs> not daughter, Colt. Okay, we only had one filly. Another Colt, pure white stallion. The thing I've noticed with these foals, look how high their stats are with this much potential. I think these guys could be maxed out completely, which is great because the races are really hard now. And then finally, my favorite, Measles. Measles is our only filly, and she is from Delilah and Bubbles. And I do plan, I actually had planned to include in this video breeding them and getting a fall out of them, but I'm not going to include it because my voice is getting really tired, if I'm being honest with you. 
and it's taking a while. So next time I breed, I want to breed more into these guys. Definitely gonna breed her and my new stallion. That'll be interesting. And then we'll have to find more pairings for our other little yearlings here. And I'm gonna run out of barn room soon, which is too bad. So I'm gonna have to decide on who to keep and who not to keep. But if you guys want to, you can drop some more name suggestions for these horses. Sunny Beetle is not the best name. <laughs> and then Natural Maple. So this horse needs a name. This horse needs a name. Um, honestly, Little Cloud, I will not be keeping. So, I mean, you can drop a name if you want to. I don't know who I'm going to keep. And I already named Measles. So <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. So look forward to next time when I decide to breed those two horses and see what coat colors we can get. And I'd like to go see more of the wild herd too and see what other variations of Appaloosa there are. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, I'm sorry for my voice being all messed up. Hopefully I'll be better by next week. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.